thought with uh, Xiao Hong that it was maybe the most logical for us was to build a tiny house that would be on wheels so we can uh, we could start to own our own house and move easily from one place to another until maybe soon we can uh, find and buy a land. Later I started to write many ideas on many papers in July, August, September with uh, some uh, plans, mini plans, and uh, I decided, okay, maybe it's time to build a, a model. I was a little bit lazy to try with uh, SketchUp to try to learn with the software. I really wanted to have something material that I can touch, I can cut, I can uh, fill the space in real. First, we chose a length of uh, 5 meter 40 to have this challenge of trying to see if we can fit two people and everything for the life of two people in 5 meter uh, 40 long. The plan was to have a flat roof so we can use all the space we can put it for one day under the sun and then we will see how the sunlight enters into the house we can open the model to see inside but now actually there are many other versions after this model this is the a longer size it's 7 meter 20 and it's the actually the lens of trailer that we decided to choose at the end so this is the trailer of 7.2 meter long it's uh, quite quite uh, big it's a uh, 60 centimeter high uh, 2.4 meter width and then we will uh, normally go up to 4 meter point uh, one point two after we bought the trailer, we were wondering how we would continue the work and we thought that it could be a good idea to build a wood workshop to be able to build faster with more precision and also to be more imaginative. So it actually took us about one month of full-time work with two people to look for the material, buy the tools and uh, make uh, the, the space. So it's, it's uh, quite a, a long time that we don't always think about when we think about building a tiny house. There is also all the part of preparation before.